I'm surprised how many Aussies have never actually seen a wild koala in a tree. It's really, really common, especially if you live in Methburn, Melbourne, or Stress Kidney, Sydney. Now, nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. I'm just saying, if you want to see a koala on a tree, you come down to fucking Adelaide, and I'll fucking show you Blinky Bill. So how this day unfolded was, I was at the giant store in Adelaide, and a cycle tourist came, and he's like, dude, run it! And he's from Mexico, and he's just ridden from Perth to Adelaide, and he's heading over to Sydney, literally. And we're just talking a bit, I said, hey, have you ever seen a koala in the wild? He goes, no, I haven't, I haven't never seen a koala in my life, in the wild. And so I said, meet me at five o'clock at the Tower Hotel, we'll ride to Moriata Gorge, and I'll guarantee you, we'll show you a wild koala. And he's like, okay! And he did, he showed up, and we delivered. That's what this video's about. So yeah, uh, wondering who that was, is a uh, cycle from Perth to Adelaide, met during running the giant store, and then did koala spotting in the, in the afternoon. That's what I fucking love. And that's why I live in Radelaide, Australia this time of year. It's just, there's no one in Australia like it, man. There's just no other city that has everything you need and produces more elite level runners and cyclists than any city on the planet. Actually, runners maybe Ethiopia, but anyway, you know, cyclists though. Nowhere in the world produces more elite level, elite level, world tour, world class, Olympic level, whatever you want to call it, cyclists than Adelaide, Australia. No other city has such a higher level of cycling ability let me know down below if you think otherwise no nothing and you don't have to agree with me but you're still going to be wrong and if you're coming over from melbourne or sydney you want to see koala bring your helmet because the drop bear season has started